Hi there Elements users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover an amazing new uh, adjustment you can do in Photoshop Elements 9. It uh, uses the Spot Healing Brush, which hey, I know it's an old tool that you've got in Elements right here, Spot Healing Brush tool. But before you didn't have this, this thing called Content Aware. This is something that was taken from Photoshop and added into just this one tool in, in Elements. In Photoshop it'll do all kinds of magical things. In Elements it'll do magical things, maybe just one, with one tool. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I've got this nice picture here, uh, but what I got is this, this, this cable running right across the screen and I want to get rid of it. So I could, I could clone it. Um, especially in this area it would be a bit dicey around here around the trees let's get a pointer so I can actually point around the trees it'd be harder to uh, clone those out over here wouldn't be too bad but you gotta worry about matching the blues and there's a little tiny cloud here and all that so you can do it so much more easily with the spot healing brush tool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new layer on and I'm going to spin the canvas because I find it much easier to work uh, vertically then horizontally so let's just zoom in a little bit okay we got most of the cable there we'll just bring it to here okay so you grab your healing brush tool you get it just a bit bigger than the area you're working on yeah, that should do it and you just put it down and I've got my Wacom tablet I got an Intuos 4 here and so it's going to change size with pressure just paint over it and it will go away. Now this this tool has some quirks and I heard this from a Photoshop guru at a presentation this year. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times to get it right. So it's got these little quirks and foibles uh, but it will it'll do it eventually. So let's try something difficult. Let's go straight down here through the branches and see how this works. And there it goes. Come on let's go. Sometimes it takes the branch out, sometimes it doesn't. Well, that's pretty good. It took a little bit of a branch out here, but you can see how long that took, like nothing. So let's spin this back. Uh, 99 degrees right. And do it before and after. Okay, there's a picture. And there. There's before and there's after. Look at how easy that was. That's amazing. So let's try another one. I got this picture here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Let's see if we can take out this park bench. So we'll zoom in a bit on it. There, get our brush. I'm going to make this brush just a bit bigger. Whoops, go the right way. And uh, we're just going to paint over. This, this doesn't seem like it should work, does it? Okay, let's see what happens. Look at that. Okay, so there's a funny little line here. We'll take care of that. Take care of that. Take care of that. There. Let's zoom out a bit. Look at that. You'd never know it was there. And grab this. This little muddy. It was a nice rainy, cool day that when I took this picture. And that was all mud and ugly. And uh, so there we go. Gone. Now you could do this with the clone tool, but not like this. This is amazing, and it's fun. You get addicted to doing this, you know. Uh, there. So there's all that stuff gone. I did that on the background. I should have created a layer. I didn't. Um, let's go back in our undo history. Open. There we are. And isn't that neat? Isn't that worth just getting Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Here's another one. Okay, this is an interesting one. Uh, I actually use this f this photograph, um, and I'm going to make a layer, uh, to do the Content Aware tutorial for Photoshop. And uh, did it slightly different. Oops, I want a zoom tool. Okay, so there's a piece of flotsam sitting there. Ugly, messy. Make sure the shadow was done because it was a sunny day. Look at that, gone. Let's zoom over. See what else? There's a piece of crud there. We can get rid of that. Now, just for fun, I was practicing earlier, 
and I took all these posts out. So we'll do a couple posts. And uh, I mean, this is looks like it'd be difficult. This would be difficult to clone out. So let's try this. We'll make this a bit smaller here. Okay, down we go. <laughs> Can you believe it? Now let's take this thing out. Now it left a little artifact there. And there's a little funny artifact along there. But that's pretty good, isn't it? And another one. And it, it kind of, and this time it, it content aware itself to drag the posts in here. So you may have to do some fiddling around with that one to get it out. But, you know, when you're up close you can see it. When you back off, you can't see it so well. And down. And you got these as cables that we can get rid of. They're, they're kind of ugly and see there there's what I'm talking about sometimes it'll do weird things but you know the weird things it does is uh, is is worth it because it does such a good job and here okay so let's back out so uh, we've taken two of those posts out you really wouldn't see anything maybe a little ghost around the side of that post but that's okay you know when you look at the overall total picture it's pretty good and there's before and after. Other thing you can use it for is <coughs> restoring old photographs. And I got one here. This is uh, from the end of World War II. And these folks were celebrating the end of the war. And uh, this picture was handed down in the family. And uh, I know a couple of these people. No longer with us, but I know them. At least I did know them. This gentleman here, one of the nicest gentlemen I ever met in my life. And let's let's zoom in. So you can see he's got some little funny things going on in his uniform. So we're going to make this a bit smaller. And and one of the banes of old photographs are the scratches and just the wear and tear that happens. Now what did I do? Just a minute. I did something. Undo spot healing. I did it in the wrong place. Now I'm going to flatten this. And add a layer. Okay, there we go. I was working on a layer because I had to brighten the picture up a bit too. This one needs a lot of tender love and care and work. Uh, there, this should be better. There. Not bad, huh? So if you've got this and you haven't used it yet, drag it out. Try it out. You can see how easy it is to get rid of these things. Again, you can clone all this stuff, but if you're working in, a, in an area like right in here where these creases are in the uniform finding the correct source can be a bit of a problem so this this thing just says hey I'll find it for you and it does it finds it immediately so that is the content aware uh, use of the healing brush tool uh, the spot healing brush tool uh, there's a couple different options you can use on it you can use it with proximity uh, it's not as good as this as good as uh, content aware. You can use it with pattern um, or texture I mean. Not as good. Just just put content aware on, add a layer and go to it. You'll have a you'll have a blast with it. Because it works so well. You can see how, how quickly this is cleaning up. So if I spent probably an hour with this photograph I could get most of this stuff done. And and that doesn't include just him. All the people in this photograph. And, and it's kind of addictive too, you know. You get going on this and you can't stop. And here I am almost nine minutes in and I'm just doing this and can't stop. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, I'm gonna back out a bit here. So I hope you find this useful and uh, it really is a great addition to Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. So uh, if you've got Elements 9, give this thing a shot. If you don't, think about getting Elements 9 because it's probably worth it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you found this useful and informative and uh, we'll see you on the next video uh, come and visit my site the url is here and it's on the last slide of the of the video as well okay you take care and thanks for watching bye now